Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you guys my workflow for editing a vlog and most videos really and break down some things to keep in mind and things to help you out. So it's not going to be a step by step because this is like two or three hours of editing footage but I'm going to speed things up and cut out the important parts and kind of show you guys some things to keep in mind. So when you import your memory card into your computer you should see all your clips and you can drag them onto a folder on your desktop or however you want to organize it but opening up a new project in Premiere, you just want to grab those clips and drag them into the project media box and they should all generate. Now you just want to start out with your first clip because things are all in chronological order so however you want to start out but I start out with my first couple clips and then I use the razor tool, you can switch between the razor and the move tool with C and V to chop out the parts that I don't want, the parts that I messed up talking or the unimportant parts and break it down to make sense when I play it back. So you can see that I'm constantly playing things back and forth. Now if you want to create a title, you can go to title, new title, because somewhere in here you're going to want to introduce the video or what it's about. So in the title you can choose fonts and sizes and position and type something out like the date or whatever you want to call your video if you want a title. When you do that it should pop up in your project media box and you can drag it onto your timeline above your clips to have it appear and then you can add transitions if you want to have it fade. Now music, I have a bunch of um, royalty free music that I have in a folder and in my iTunes so sometimes I'll pick one that kind of fits the mood or whatever I want and I'll drag that onto my timeline as well to work with. Now you can see I'm doing a lot of chopping, a lot of pretty much C and V are going to be your favorite shortcuts to know because you're going to want to switch between the cut tool and the move tool often when you're arranging all of your clips together, cutting them down and then making them make sense. Now music, I put it into certain parts. I don't put it over the whole video, some do, but you just wanna make sure you're looking at the audio waveforms and syncopating things and try to put the music in first so that when you're editing, you can have things make sense and flow with the music because it's much easier to do it that way than to retroactively do it. Now I like to scan through the whole project a couple times just to make sure there's no parts that I messed up or nothing else that I wanna cut out or rearrange. Now once I have all my clips edited and cut together, if I right click on all the audio and like highlight all the audio and right -click, click on it, I can adjust the audio gain. And this is where you can normalize your audio to a certain decibel level. There's a lot that goes into audio, so I can't break it down in this tutorial, but definitely look into that so that you can have smooth, uniform audio that's not too quiet and not too loud in your videos. Now, once I play everything back a couple times and watch it over, kind of cut more things out as I need to and revise, then you can select your in and out points. So go to the very beginning, press I, and then go to the very end and press O to select your out point. And then you just go to File, Export, Media. It should select your in and out point. And if you're on H.264, you scroll down, there's a custom YouTube 1080p preset, which I use. I don't know if it's the best, but it works for me, and I know a lot of other people use it as well. You can choose a name for your vlog. And then I just check this little maximum render quality box. I don't know if it does anything, but what's, what's wrong with maximum uh, quality? And press Export. Now while I'm waiting for it to export, I'll usually go back to some of my clips from the vlog and try to find a good screenshot that could serve as the thumbnail. And once I have a couple screenshots, I take them into Photoshop, figure out which one I want, and then turn it into a thumbnail if I want to add text and whatnot. I have tutorials all for that. And then I just upload the video, so I add a description, title, tags, and all that. I have a tutorial on how to do that as well. So that's the basics really on how my vlog editing workflow is and my video editing workflow is. Hopefully you guys found a couple useful things to keep in mind on the process and what the whole process looks like. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to edit the vlog that you saw in this video. If you guys want to watch it, I'll link it below. And typically it's, it'll take me about two or three, let's just say two to four hours to edit about uh, a 10 minute vlog or so. So that's without any color grading and that's just my workflow, but I preview the, the vlog a lot and I do lots of revisions and stuff like that. So just some things to keep in mind that this is just my workflow. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. 
If you guys did like this video, definitely leave a like below. And if you want to get into more specifics on how to do stuff in Premiere, check out my Adobe Premiere Pro playlist on my channel for more step-by-step -step specific function tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos, and I'll see you next time.